Hello, my name is Starla Henderson and today we're going to continue working on this iris that I named Beverly. This is Runner House Quilts blog and we're working on our spring sampler. Yesterday, or the last video, we um, appliqued the center portion. We've already done the side petals and the, the mid stamen, mid petal or stem portion. first thing that you need to do, of course, is to line up your piece and back baste it, which I've already done for time's sake. And then we've got it right here, and I'm going to draw around it. I'm going to use, again, my um, Pilot Friction Pen. I like it because I can see it on this. and when I iron it, if there's any that doesn't get turned under, it'll iron away. I'll draw around this. Now this is really not any harder than anything else we've done. I'm going to walk you through the first part of it. Actually, I'm going to walk you through the last part of it. Look at this. I'm going to start right here today just because I want to take you through this little, this is the hardest, most difficult part of this. And then if you'll notice right here, I didn't draw any lines. And that's because on the back, this next piece laps over that. So that's going to be your little hangover, your little tail that will be covered with your raw edge. So. I'm going to clip right there. Get my thimble. Here we go. Again, I am using a thread that you can see. And this is not any different than what we've been doing. I'm going to start just as I'm going up this first this little outside curve here. And just turn that under. Alright, I bury my knot again in this seam allowance. We're going to take very tiny stitches. In fact, you're going around an outside curve, so you, it's almost, a lot of times, one stitch per turn. Sometimes I can go a little bit further, but most of the time, they're very short little stitches and short little turns. Alright, I can already tell, and if you look at this, here's my line, and in order to turn it where I need it, I'm pulling against where this inside point is going to be. So I'm going to clip it right up to, not into, but right up to that line. Now I'm going to keep right on turning. Get that just right. There we go. And you want to turn it until you can't see the line that you've drawn. Or if you're not, if you don't need to draw a line, till you can't see the holes that your basting thread made. I like having a line. I feel like I do better. All right, I have turned this now all the way to that point. Although I'm going to tuck that point in just a little bit tighter, because the closer you get to that point, the less and less seam allowance you have that's being tucked under, so it will tuck just a little bit past your line actually. That's why you don't clip into your line. And now I'm going to go right into that where that point is or in that kind of a, it's it's not a pointy point. It's it's 
it's somewhere between a point and a curve is the way it, it got drawn. But this is the way you're going to applique it. And you're going to keep right on going. Now we're, we're ready to start on to the going back up. I'm going to, and I've already trimmed this, so I'm just going to take this and tuck it under. And then I'm going to have to keep tucking just a little bit to get that. And now I'm going to swoop my needle all along that edge that I've just done. If there's any stray threads, any raw edge that didn't quite get under there, that will get it. I'm going to take another tiny, tiny stitch. Like I said, this is really more of a really tight inside curve that's just on the verge of a point. So, and you can see my stitches because I'm using this thread and and your stitches are going to be just a little bit more on the inside when you're doing this kind of a thing. And with practice and finer thread, it's much easier to hide those stitches. All right, now I'm going back along this other outside curve. All right, and basically the rest of this petal is what I've just done. You're going, you're going to want to start right here at this beginning if you're right-handed. And you're going to go all the way around and end here. And you are going to have a little bit of a tail here. And that's what you want. And it'll, it'll come down to a point, and that's fine, because the next piece that we're going to do in the next video is going to lap over that and hide this raw edge. So that's how you do this first mid-petal on Beverly. Thank you for joining me. This is Fronter House Quilts blog. Um, we're working on Beverly.